Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we've got some more LEGO Dimensions for you. In fact, we got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Level 5 Demi Guys Double Cross Story. This happens to be part of Story Pack 71253, which gives us six new levels. And like I said, this is the fifth of six total, and we're going to shoot for that rule breaker requirement, but uh, you looking at our gold bricks, we're a little bit short of that. And here we are, we find ourselves in the hub area of the Fantastic Beasts world, and we're going to follow the the old ghost stud trail all the way down and it keeps looking like we're gonna hang a Louie or a left here pretty soon but we actually got to keep on keeping on all the way through Times Square and all the way down around and eventually we uh, come to a close or we actually open up the cutscene in Desolation Alley which is a uh, lot scarier than it sounds although it is pretty scary too so, uh, it sounds pretty scary anyways alright we're gonna go ahead and drop down in Desolation Alley and it's gonna take us away only those who are wanted need apply. Where is it? Half of the people in here. Hmm. Give it back, Credence. Where'd you get this? Betty Burr just lent it to me. What is this? It was mine. Betty Burr just lent it to me. on your head, Mr. Scamander. Why should I help you instead of turning you in? I got five. Oh, you see, now we... Wait a minute. That's a boat? That's a boat trickle. Right? They pick locks, am I right? Um, all right. Something invisible from wreaking havoc around Fifth Avenue. They sent in the exterminators, but they couldn't find nothing. Do. Yeah. Akusa are coming! You tipped them off? <laughs> You didn't seriously think I would just walk away from that bounty, did you? Nothing personal, kid. It's just business. <laughs> oh, oh, I see how it is. I mean, come on. With a dude named Norlak, you'd think that uh, you'd probably have some double-crossing going on. And, you know, I guess the story itself has kind of given the stuff away. Oh, there's another one of those lantern pads, as I'm calling them. Uh, hey, I had uh, one of our viewers actually suggested something, and, and they didn't have any uh, actual physical evidence, but there's a rumor going around that they shared with me that in a future pack, that the Powder Puff Girls may have a similar ability that they can use. Now, I don't hold me to it. I don't know. This is early. By the time you watch this, it may have already come out. I don't know. But right now, Supergirl is the only one capable of that, and that's kind of a bummer deal as Supergirl is kind of a rare person, and most people already had bought the starter pack. So, anyhow, uh, moving right along here. We have taken out a series of bad guys, and then we kind of waited a second. We watched a little cinematic moment there where Narlac flipped a switch, and... Uh, I guess gave us a new force field and some more bad guys. So we're going to go ahead and eradicate these and see what's next. We got uh, a couple of old... Oh, look at that. We got one old dude and a couple of Indiana Jones impersonators. That's right. We must be close to Las Vegas as we got some perpetrators here. And oh, look at that. I finally got my close attack button working there. And I gave him the old shakeroo with my uh, wand. So, oh, ooh, look at that. He tried to drop some bricks on our head and we got out of the way just in time. And look at that. We actually have an apparition point, which is going to allow us to get on the other side of the force field. And now we're going to go ahead and get to, uh, well, take part in some dance lessons. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. 
And all the hearts are gone, and we have been ejected. So I don't know if we actually got one or what happened there. We might have gotten a little button happy on the apparition, but nope, nope. It was a, it was a time-based thing. He just had not uh, basically realized we'd punched him yet. That was kind of weird. But uh, he tosses us back out and gives us some bricks. He actually slams some stuff on our head. And I was a little confused at this because I was thinking, well, uh, Wonder Woman is the only person I am aware of that can reflect things. But it turns out the old bubble boy bubble is uh, going to help us here. So we're going to go ahead and press the cycle button, or I guess uh, B button, depending on your platform, and go ahead and activate that and reflect the ray back. Uh, look at that. We've busted it open. And now we actually have to use our wizarding wand to go ahead and light up. And look at that. We've got ourselves a little silver lock, so we'll use Lumos to go ahead and light things up and then Reducto to blast it. I know I kind of fumbled over my own words there, but we get this nice little scene here where a little sprite comes in and bothers Narlac and spins him around and all of a sudden he's gone. Wait a minute, oh, he's not gone, he's on the run. And let's see here, I think we get the best of him. Oh, nope, not yet, we actually have to battle some more bad guys. So that's kind of unfortunate for us, but we got a little, little focus over here on the left hand side oh no some fire so we'll go ahead and have to put those out by holding square or x button to use aquamenti and put out all them fires because we didn't start the fire look at that we got all of them out and what's next Ooh, we got a bunch of bouncing bricks which is going to lead to us building something awesome in fact uh i know what it is but let's see here this is another one of those points where i actually had hard time connecting to the build like sometimes you know like you can see it's bouncing around and i'm getting some little aura marks but nope couldn't get it took me a minute finally get it and look at that we've got a busted machinery here busted piece of machinery that is we'll go ahead and use newt to go ahead and fix that and look at that once we get it all ready to go we'll spin to win and see what's up let's see here what we got what we got waiting waiting Ooh, it's going to start pumping. I see a glass case there. Are we going to need to fill that up with Aquamenti? No, it has its own juice. So look at this. Uh, wow, purple, pink? I don't I don't know what's going on here. This is uh, liquid bubble gum, perhaps? Oh, we're going to start turfing it at him. That's right, buddy. Take that. Oh, no. It's a potion of some sort. He didn't like that. I can tell you that right now. But uh, he sends in some more bad guys. And, hey, I don't know what's going on here, but I was taught never to swing or hurt a female. Now, I don't know why, why I'm attacking these guys. I was taught better than this. And, uh, uh oh. Our, uh, well, we'll just call it wizarding. We'll out-wizard those females. And they are now gone. And let's see here. We got this robotic arm. It's flexing up. Ooh, so strong. Oh, hey, look at that. He tinks on the top. And now we've got a little build, a digging area and maybe some building blocks, blick, bricks, blicks. I was calling them blicks. I did call them blicks. It was fun, though. We all had fun. Let's just admit it. We all had fun with me calling it blicks. <laughs> and, you know, I try to get up close and dig, but I, I keep pulling up this wheel. And then I pull it up again. And so you, I guess you got to tap the circle button as opposed to holding it. Because by holding it, you pull up the uh, kind of the secondary options for what we can unlock for Niffler. But, hey, look at that. He has dug up some bricks. And we actually have some things we can build. And what's this? It's a keystone terminal. But for what? Ooh, it's a locate. What are we going to find? Let's see here. Well, up front. Oh, close the personal on the far right side. We're going to go ahead and spam, 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 spam. And look at that. It's going to go ahead and open up a portal. And I think it's going to take care of... Oh, look at this. Smoochy boochies. This is a nice little cameo, huh? Oh, look at that. Look at the... Oh, he's, he's liking this. Uh, it's a good distraction here. We'll go ahead and use mind control, which apparently we have to switch to old Queenie. And Queenie can get her done for us, so we'll take control of uh, old Jacob. And look at that. Pow, right in the kissa. And we are off into a cutscene, which I'm already talking through. Yeah. Who is she? <laughs> Shall we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't see a thing in here. Dougal. Dougal. Come on, buddy. 
Here, doogie, 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 doogie. <laughs> Not to be confused with here, doogie, doogie, doogie. Anyhow, uh, we start things off by lighting up our wand. And as you can see, we've got our buddy hanging from the ceiling up there. And we need to find a way to, well, uh, at least coax him down or jump around or something. So uh, we kind of struggle finding out what we've got to do. We see that there is one of the creation logos up on the wall there. So we know that there is going to be some creation bits and probably a keystone terminal somewhere amongst all these glowing piles of debris. We also notice, too, that there is a chroma pad puzzle piece over there so maybe the keystone terminal is gonna have multiple keystones in it and all right so we're just gonna keep on keeping on as it turns out we need to destroy all of these little I don't know what they are they're tables of some sort some sort of display racks and I was pretty sure that we would find ourselves some sort of chroma pad puzzle solution up there but no such luck yet anyways we can see that our girl pals are on the other side of the door apparently they were not cool enough to get inside here so we're gonna have to find a way to get them in and something tells me it has something to do with the chroma pad puzzle and potentially the creation puzzle as well so look at me i'm frantically trying to destroy anything and everything in my path trying to find just the one item i need in order to advance here and i'm just having no luck whatsoever and so I keep trying to shoot him right in the old, uh, well, caboose there, and you can see I am successful, but it's not really doing anything for me, so I'm like literally to the point where I'm like, okay, do I need to do this over again, and I go, oh, wait a minute, I forgot I lit things up right as I started, but I didn't hang out long enough to see what I had lit up, so as it turns out, there's a switch there that gives us the power, and look at that, we turn on some lights, and now we can see some things, including... Uh, well, uh, I guess this is the premonition of him. This is what he expects us to do, because this Dougal guy can see the future, or the nearest probable future anyway, so we have to be unpredictable, as Newt tells us. And, yeah, so we, uh, fortunately found a couple of bricks that were needed. Uh, we'd already uncovered everything else by destroying the tables and uh, debris piles over here on the right. And look at this, we've got a keystone terminal that actually allows for two different keystones. So we're going to select the creation, or it's actually the blank one. We have to find the creation stamp or logo whatever you want to call it and get it on there once it's on there uh, we can actually move our character around on the toy pad to all three different colors and look at that mix and match and we've got this crazy what is that that is I don't know what that is. It looked like a bear, perhaps, of some sort. I don't know what it was, but he did the trick. He actually slammed it down, and, uh, well, we got Dougal to come down. Oh, look at that. I was right. I told you that there was potentially a solution to a puzzle up there, but for whatever reason, it required some lipstick in order to knock it down. So don't ever es underestimate the power of lipstick. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I guess that really didn't have any meaning. But what we need to do now is simply match up the colors on our toy pad with the colors on the puzzle solution there. And look at that. Kowalski comes in and grabs him. And oh, no, he takes off and gets drug onto the other side over there. So we will follow the old stud trail over to this checkerboard path. And we get a little uh, camera pan to see <laughs> Dougal's over there hiding. He runs off again. He's off and he's running. He's at the 10. He's at the 20. Oh, he's, uh, I guess, at the, I don't know what that is. Maybe the... Halfway point, a 50 yard line? I'm not sure. He uh, he stopped though, and I don't. I've never in the play calling. You normally don't get the player to stop without the play being over, and the play is officially not over yet because we have not caught him, nor has he escaped for that matter. So, all right, destroy the box behind the checkerboard pathway here, and look at this. We've got ourselves a sleigh. And all right, we've got uh, broken checkerboard paths. So we're gonna have to destroy some stuff nearby. Luckily for us, there's this blue present that has all the items inside we need. We'll build those up and then of course push it along. Uh, push it along, yeah, push it along. And all of a sudden we get all the way to the end and now we have actually something to jump up onto. So go ahead and get your baboing on up top. And with a couple of carefully placed jumps, you can actually get up here and, uh oh, watch out for the cake. Uh, I don't know what this game has with cake, but there is a lot of cake happenings going on from portal to you know, I, I, well, I guess it makes sense that old Kowalski's got cake, but anyhow. Uh, Dougal is dragging away our, well, is that our buddy or is that somebody else? I can't tell if that's our buddy or not. I think Kowalski's just standing there, but all right. So we've got lots of uh, things glowing and stars are shining. And ooh, one of three, we better stay away from those. As we're trying not to get any of the collectibles in this video. As this is our story-based video, we'll be back for collectibles another time. Look at that, by activating the robot or actually fixing the robot with Newt and his fixing abilities, he does the robot right into the wall. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but 
Uh, it was pretty funny and smashed into the wall. And now we've got this like ghost-like cinematic scene. Again, this is the the uh, uh, idea of what we are doing. Like the, the monkey sees the future, and this is what he sees us doing. So I am super confused. Although I get the first one figured out right here. There's a bunch of apparition points, and you need to use these points to go ahead and uh, push along the different piles of debris on the other apparition points. So uh, once you do one, it actually opens up not only the one you come through, but it should open up another one. In fact, uh, I don't see it at the moment, but I know there's another one around here. And I might have to make great, make my way through some debris, but I'm pretty sure it's just as soon as you go through the one, it opens up the other. So uh, yeah, I get really confused and sidetracked here, so I apologize, but here in a second, oh wait, what's this? Make that choo-choo go around or, no, that's another one of those tables. That's not gonna help us out. All I know is it's really blue in here, and it's not because we're sad. It's because we got to figure this stuff out. And, all right, we got our apparition point. We'll go ahead and let's see here. One more time. One more time, time. Okay, so there's another one right to the top right of the screen right there. It's just by that other dancing ghost to the right of that point. So, all right, I'm going to go through it one more time, I think. And then I realized, wait a minute, there's an apparition point right there above me to the left. And I see it, and I run for it. Almost. Nope, not yet. I promise this video is coming to an end in about three two, one, all right, delay one more time, I gotta go one more through, go one more through, one more through, that's right, one more through, learn about it, ha ha ha, all right, we go through the final one, and it takes us to the cutscene, Jacob, wow, you did it, you caught it, oh, that's incredible, I know, huh? <laughs> Looks like Kowalski and Dougal have become good buddies. Hey, that's pretty cool. I wonder how many more books and movies are planned for this. But hey, regardless, we've got Demigeist Double Cross Story Complete, which unlocks the free play version, which I guess technically in Dimensions, there really isn't a free play. As long as you have the extra characters, you can pretty much put them on the table at any point. Or table? Portal? Whatever you want to call it. All right, 73% of the way to that rule breaker requirement, not quite enough. And of course, we did not save or rescue that minifig in peril. No mini kits for you either, but we do get a gold break. So we'll go ahead and collect that and press that continue button, which takes us to this screen. And you know what that means. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Dimensions, Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them. Demi Guy's Double Cross Story, which happened to be level five of the story pack. So we are making great ground, and it's just in time to because we've got some new LEGO Dimensions releases coming out tomorrow. So we hope to get to those sooner than later and get those videos out, uh, well, rather quickly. So, hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, requests, anything like that, head on over to our Facebook or simply, uh, I guess you can click Twitter too, but you can comment, vote, subscribe down below as well. I guess I kind of messed that up, huh? I'm sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, we've got links provided in our video description for all sorts of things. Hey, if you're feeling generous or maybe you want to give back to us, maybe you uh, see a tier that gives something back to you, whatever it is, check out our Patreon.com account. And uh, who knows? Maybe you'll find something that's uh, rather soon. But, uh, oh, to the yeah, as for me, that's going to do it for now. I have one more level to complete for this, and then that'll wrap up our LEGO Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them story videos, which, uh, yeah, that's exciting. Free play, huh? Oh, to the end. All right, as I already said, that's going to wrap it up for me. As always, until next time.